Telephone call for Joe Namath in room 340. That's long distance for Mr. Joe Namath, 340. There, you see, I knew I wasn't a crazy person. I mean, Joe Namath. There's no way that the man who led the Jets to so many victories could be a, you know. Excuse me, Mr. Namath, I wonder if I might have an autograph. It's not for me, it's for my 10-year-old Jilda. She's a big fan of yours, Mr. Namath, and I wondered if... Mr. Namath, excuse me, I wonder if we might have an autograph. It's not for me, it's for my... thing. Mr. Namath? <laughs> You're not Joe Namath. Well, neither are you. I thought you were Joe Namath. Well, it's the lighting. <laughs> I was praying you were Joe Namath. Oh. I don't blame you. I mean, you just had to be him. Oh, are you eating your heart out, honey? I don't know what I'm doing. Join the club. It's like some strange heterosexual gypsy curse was put on this place. How's the orgy room doing? Oh, I haven't done uh, right The steam room? No, no. Well, no wonder you haven't made out. That's my son you've got in there. Buzz off. One mark on that boy's body, Wanda, and I'm calling the police. <laughs> well, I tried. Come on, I'll show you around. No, thanks. I was just on my way to my room. Come on. Hey, listen, I don't do this sort of thing for just everybody. Oh, I'm an expert guy. Hey, there's something I've got to tell you. Sweetheart, relax. You are not my type. I just want to help you find yours. <gasps> Hello. We said hello. Oh, oh you... Margaret Dumont. We thought you were dead. There's a reason some of us don't ride the subway. I'm looking right at it. Is that supposed to mean me? Screw you, honey. Well, if there's one thing I can't stand is a queen without a sense of humor. You can die with your secret, miserable piss-elegant fairy. <laughs> <laughs>